our we love you so much thank you for standing with us we have cried for long but god we are going on our knees on our knees Thank you. Thank you so much, Lillian Nyeno. I now, I now call upon um, Teacher's Service Commission by Leonora, and we will have one person speak on behalf of the other ones because of time. You can both come. You, you introduce your friend and let one person speak. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Leonora Atieno, and this is Mr. Pascal Okubasu. He's my colleague. He was injured also. He's a survivor. I'm a member of uh, the consortium group. I was working with the TSC at the cooperative house. At that time, I was on the, I was on the 15th floor doing my du duties. Then I had gunshots, then loud bang. Then I went to the window to check what was happening. I was thrown down. Then I saw dark smoke and dust. I don't know how long I took there, but there was glass all over my body. I was cut in the cheeks and in the shoulder, and I injured my right leg. My body was full of blood. A colleague helped me to walk into ground floor. We found many vehicles and may, so many people waiting for us to assist us to go to hospital. I was picked by a good Samaritan. I was taken to Masaba Hospital for treatment. Then after the two days, my family transferred me to Aga Khan Hospital. From that time, I have been having eye problem. My right eye has a problem. In the year 2021, a glass was removed from my right eye and my sh right shoulder. In TSC, with the offices were located at the cooperative house from that floor to 17th floor, and bought, it bought the brand of the terrorist attack, losing the 12, 12 people, most were in the board, uh, boardroom in the fourth floor. I have two colleagues who are here, they are in the wheelchair. There is Teresia, she's sitting there, and there is Mrs. Amisi, Redemptor, she's sitting just behind you. They were my colleagues at the cooperative house. About 300 to 500 people were injured physically and psychologically at the TSC offices. For the last 25 years, we have lost about eight staff as a result of the American embassy bombing. Psychological trauma still lingers on this date. To this date, one of my colleagues was eight months pregnant, lost her sight, but gave birth to a daughter who is struggling to this date. That is Catherine Buire. We were with her in the cooperative house. We need compensation. In TSC, many people got injuries. Some are suffering from eyesight, spinal injuries, and eye problems. Even as we speak uh, now, we have a colleague who succumbed to the bomb blast injury. She will be buried this month on 11th. We need compensation. Uh, thank you, the Senate Committee, for helping us. Thank you so much, 